Hi, Mikael. It's, um, it's been three long months since you last played a Premier League match. What are your emotions and those of your players going into this game at the Etihad on Wednesday night? Well, first of all, I hope everybody is there. I cannot see anybody, but I hope you guys are well. I miss you a lot. Um, yeah, it's been a long process. Uh, we've been uh, through very different stages, but now we are really excited. We are back doing what we want to do. Hopefully, you know, we can do it in the right way and we can sustain it. So it's really important that now everybody does what is required. You said that ID that you would have had six weeks build up to the first game. Instead, it's been, been more like four. So what have you had to prioritise and what's been the balance between the fitness work and maybe the work that you do on, on tactics and style of play? No, we need to know to, to get to this way of working with all the limitation we have. Try to make the most out of it. I think we found the right balance. And the most important thing was to provide the players a safe environment to work where they could feel that uh, there was no risk or a very, very limited risk for them to develop their profession. I think we have managed to do that. And from now on, yeah, the physical part of it is really good, but the mental side as well, it's been a challenge all those three months. And, uh, and now how, let's see how ready we are to compete. And just the last one for me, really. Is it, can you give us an update on the fitness of the squad heading into Wednesday night's game? Yeah, so far, uh, everybody's okay. We'll see how training goes tomorrow to pick the right team and the right squad. Again, it's going to be different with the amount of substitute that we can have on the bench and the amount of substitution that we can do. So we have to think about um, how can we do that. Uh, Mikel, what will it be like for you to go up against Pep Guardiola? What sort of influence has he been on you, both as a football coach and as a person? Well, he was an influence for me since I was 15 years old and, um, and we met in Barcelona, both as, as a player. And then obviously in my coaching career and in my personal life, he has an enormous influence. Um, if I have to talk about the person, who he is, his values, the way he's treated me and, and how he deals with the players and, and the staff around him is it's phenomenal and as a coach, yeah, I've learned so much from him. We spent some amazing moments together, some difficult ones as well. But uh, the experience next to him has been in incredible. I'm sure there'll be a bit more on him later, but I just wanted to ask you about um, Pierre Abam uh, Emmerich Aubameyang as well. The comments that he said, he says a decision uh, to sign a new contract is the most important of his career. What, what have you said to him about committing uh, to the long-term project that you've got at the club? Well, I think it's our responsibility to make him feel that this is the right next step in his career. In order to do that, he needs to feel valued. I think he needs to feel that he belongs to us and we want him. And then he really needs to believe that uh, we can take this club forward the way we want to do. And he's going to be a key player to do that. I think at the moment I'm extremely happy with uh, how he's been performing and behaving. I think I've got a, a really good relationship with him when we can discuss face to face a lot of things. And um, so far, as I'm aware, I think he's very happy at the club. And just as a quick follow up to that, he said that Arsenal know why nothing has happened yet. What, what is the reason behind it? And, and are you concerned that he, he's sort of saying all of this in, in, in public so close to the, the restart? Well, I think in a different context, um, we would have liked to do the things much quicker. But obviously, we have been handed really tight with time and, and, and communication as well. And obviously, these unprecedented times brings a lot of uncertainty. And these are getting clear and clear every day that we are a step closer to get back playing football. And, um, and we're going to move forward. And of course, the big prize for the end of the season for Arsenal would be the uh, qualifying for the Champions League. Do you think that's, that's something that could help um, persuade Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang to stay? And, and has there been any discussion about a new contract so far? I think that will help to persuade anybody. But we are very lucky to have the club that we have right behind us, that a lot of players want to come and join us. But it's not about who do we want to attract as well is how happy the players that are here and how convinced they are that they are at the right place and as well because it's our 
obligation almost to be fighting for every trophy and playing the Champions League with this club. And just sorry on that final point, do you know if there's been any discussion about a new contract for him yet? We have many discussions with um, Pierre, his family and his agent and uh, and I'm pretty positive that uh, we can find the, the right agreement with, for all parties.